Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today uh, we have uh, a mini PC. The brand is B Link. The model number is U59. And this uh, was brought by a customer for not powering on. Okay. So I have the original charger plugged. Let's check the voltage. So we have 12 volts DC. Let's check the device. We plug the cable here. No lights, nothing. Press the power button. Nothing. This input 12 volts, 3 amps. All right. Let me check with my power supply. Have a spare plug here. It's okay. twelve volts. Check the polarity that it's correct. Yes, 12 volts. And the power supply, the machine is dead. But on the amp meter, I can see 9 milliamperes. So it seems that something is consumes 9 milliamperes out of nothing. So I think we have a problem on the PCB. There's something wrong. Uh, nine milliamperes is uh, a lot for a for a board that is not working. There is no battery charging or anything, so there's something wrong with the PCB. So let's open the box and check the PCB. So the PCB seems to have four screws on the bottom. Let's open the screws. To use the tool. Right. Here it is. There is an SSD drive here, or not? No, this is just the case. The SSD is an M2 SATA 3 drive. This cable is actually this cable actually is for a spare two and a half inch drive here. So 
so we can remove this. DDR4 memories, 8 gigs each, so total 16 gigabytes of memory. Wow! For such a small device, it's a lot of memory. Nice, nice build. Intel processor. Okay, let's remove the PCB board outside of the box. There are four screws here, smaller ones. Let's put them on the left. Remove also the disk. We don't need the disk for now. Okay. And the Wi Fi card, we actually, they actually have put some kind of a glue on the connectors, on the, on the big tail connectors. doesn't move at all. While I was trying to check online how to open this box, which uh, actually you have to open this top lid, which is very difficult because I tried to push it with this sponger but cannot uh, open I I thought let's try to reset the BIOS because there is a, a hole here which resets the BIOS and after I reset the BIOS and I plugged the power The consumption is again 9 milliamperes, but when I press the button, now it starts. That's a funny video. So we had the frozen BIOS actually, and uh, there was no problem with the board. So I will keep this video, I don't know if I'm going to post this video, but the thing is that uh, this is the first time I get this device on my hands, and um, if you have the same issue i mean you plug the power and nothing happens when you press the button try resetting the bios just hold this pin inside for five six seconds release it um, take off the power put it on again and try to start it up and it will start uh, normally okay so that was the video thank you for watching like and subscribe if you want and uh, see you on the next one.